Good day, everybody. Brian here, quantlabs.net. Today is August 7th, uh, 119 Eastern Standard Time. So here we are. We've got now big news with TradingView uh, putting out a blog post on introducing tick charts. So if you're like me and you're wanting to do the equivalent of, dare I say, high frequency trading, at least on the data sides, it's very, very capable. The only difference is that you are going to be tied to TradingView and PineScript, the programming language uh, associated with TradingView. Uh, I can't really go into a lot of details in here, uh, just due to the fact that TradingView is very, uh, their terms of service are pretty strict on what you can and cannot do with this sort of capability. All I can tell you, there's no ways around it. You do have to be a paying a uh, member of TradingView will tell you which uh, level you need to be at. And uh, let's get to it. The big advantage with this right now is if you're in a C++, a lot of people want their tick data. You pay a lot of money for this. So I'll show you a post from TradingView on what is available on their tick data uh, solution here. It's very, very impressive. So as I said here, we got the uh, introduction to uh, the tick chart. So this is one tick. So as I've said before, you can have up to 10 ticks, which is pretty impressive, but now you get it right to one tick. Um, so it goes into the details of what all this represents. Uh, but um, I just can't tell you how pretty impressive this is. So all you got to do is you can see here is you just choose your time period. You go one tick and there you go. So Right now, uh, you have to be at this level. We'll go into details, but it's expert, elite, or ultimate. Uh, and then there's a four term, uh, four intervals, one tick, 10 tick, 100, 1,000 ticks. So not a lot of platforms provide this, but but I guess because of the size of TradingView as a company, as a, as a community, they're able to make arrangements with a lot of the big exchanges out there, whereas a lot of the smaller platforms don't have that. I don't know uh, what's available. Uh, and it usually is through some data provider that you're going to have to pay pay for. This is all included in the um, uh, membership that you pay or subscription that you pay out to TradingView. So let's take a look at uh, what also is available. Um, so in here, I'm not going to go into the details of it because there's a links here provided. I'll put them in my blog post um, and the advantages of them. So right here, this is what it's available on. So most people probably be interested in the most popular exchanges. These are being USA, NASDAQ, NYSE, ARCA, OTC for stocks, CBOE, stocks and indices, which is quite good. Plus the CME group, that's really good for the futures market. Um, and again, uh, with worldwide uh, FXCM and the, I, the ICE, uh, for Forex. So that's going to be institutional level with ICE. FXCM is going to be available for uh, retail. Um, and then also we have for the crypto markets, we have uh, Bitstamp, which I believe has now been taken over by Robinhood. They are based out of Britain, Binance and Coinbase out of the US for crypto. That's pretty impressive there. Uh, other ones we have is the LSE. We have uh, Thailand. Um, Japan as well, India, which I think a lot of people be interested in uh, as well, Germany, Canada, uh, Australia, and the like. So we'll leave it at that on what's available. But the impressive part is you have access to the futures market, tick data using the ICE and the CME. Okay, again, that's for futures and options available in Trading view with the PineScript language. Now you can still obviously do your C++ and whatnot, but this is more catered towards those or people that are finding it's too challenging to go down the path of C++ and Python. Whereas this is much easier to deal with in trading view. And if you're willing to learn uh, PineScript to develop your own strategies, which, which I'm probably going to go, but it really depends on people on the demand of what people want from this kind of video focusing on trading view because a lot of the people in the C++ world do not know the capabilities of TradingView. So there's that. Okay, um, so what levels are we talking about? Now I am, I believe a professional 
for these sort of things, um, you might want to take a a uh, uh, a tip here. Usually, TradingView has um, the sales Black Friday in November. Uh, they are steep, steep discounts. You get a annual plan for like three hundred bucks. So, if I'm a non-professional, I'm on the premium. Uh, the levels of uh, really the difference between uh, you know at the retail level, we'll call it or non-professional, it's still enough depending upon the size of your account. So here you're paying what was it forty nine a month? That's pretty cheap for what you're getting here. Um, when you get up into the professional level, one ninety nine per month, elite, ultimate, you can see three forty nine and four ninety nine per month. And all you're really getting is just more um, chart connections available within the app, technical alerts, eight hundred. Like these are for institutional level trading or people who have like large, large accounts. Okay, so let's go back to here. So I am on Bitcoin, US dollar, Coinbase now. And here I'm on a one minute basis right there. So if I do the standard, I don't know, one hour, you can see here. Um, we can chart that and then we go all the way down to the one tick level. Okay, so it looks like I have to upgrade for this. So the premium is not included. So I have to get into that level. So obviously that's what I was saying as a professional. But even still, I can still access 10 tick as well. Oh, it looks like they've uh, taken that away. Or sorry, one second, I'm sorry. That's what we've always had, which is pretty good. But now you can get into the one tick level. So, um, yeah, you definitely need to be uh, upgrade your plan and get into the more HFT high frequency trading stuff if you're willing to go on um, on uh, that plan and go down that path. So, yeah, uh, it is definitely definitely available there. So, if you want to know more outside of just the C plus plus Python algo trading HFT stuff. Trading view might be a good option, much more accessible option. People will want to learn about HFT for career, for the high paying jobs. As I said before, it's highly uh, it's, uh, competitive. So if you want to do this more for an independent or self employment route, this is a, a decent route to go with trading view. So if you go to quantlabsnet.com, click the ta learn tab, uh, opt in here. You will get both the C++ HFT book is out now. You get that, I think, right away. Uh, plus, I'll give you a video as well so that you can get an idea from a high level of all the features and benefits that TradingView will give you as a non-professional level. All right, so we'll keep it as that. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.